That was loud, wasn't it, Jeff? Yes. It was really loud in here. Morning, everybody. Hi, I'm Ken. I'm coming to you live from the Circle R Ranch where uh, my absolutely stunning buckshot in Venetian gold matches my tennis shoes. Oh, wow. Right? Am I right? And I noticed oh, that. Oh, wow. Look at the shoes. I noticed that while I was playing. I uh, got, got a little inspiration from wow. a little uh, Zimmerman twins thing there from a song called Fall Tree Fall, which uh, wasn't in the set last night at the Village Idiot, but still in my head this morning. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I mentioned yesterday that we were going to talk about the buckshot because the buckshot is back. The buckshot is back. And the cross cut because um, I had had... Uh, a request. I, apparently, some other brand, one of those brands, one of the two brands that shall not be mentioned here. And I'll mention brands here. I'll talk mm. about brands all day long. Mm. I, I got friends, uh, good friends that work at Fender and uh, good stuff, you know. Those Wonder guitars are pretty goddamn cool, am mm. I right? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, I, I, <laughs> I've got friends at Hoshino who love me some Ibanez. You sure do. People know that. Yeah. And I uh, like those Sir guitars. Love those Pensa guitars. Yeah. I think uh, you just like guitars, man. I do like guitars. That's true. But there are a couple of brands that we don't talk about here. And one of those brands just did a really weird, like, sort of telly thing. Hmm. And, uh, and so people have been asking me about these because we did that right a long time ago. Um, Nailers just... Uh, well, Naylor's a big fan, of course, of the T-style guitar, and when this was our first uh, sort of foray into that pickup in the modern line. So we had the Hitman guitar originally way back in the day, and then the Buckshot came along in um, the late aughts. I want to say maybe eight or nine this guitar came out with the Greasy T pickup and the Bridge, which is a slightly hotter uh, ceramic uh, pickup that... Um, really gives this guitar some oomph. And so the combination of the tunematic bridge, the greasy T pickup being mounted straight into the body um, gives a sort of a, a cool twist on the traditional T style telly thing, right? And then by choosing to put what was initially um, the Revtron pickup and is now the Retro Blast pickup in the neck, uh, is kind of a freaky guitar, so the, the output's balanced, right? Which has always been uh, sort of a sticking point on the traditional, um, you know, Fender instruments or whatever. And, uh, but yet there's a lot of different tonal possibilities because the Retro Blast pickup is pretty mellow. Grease tea is pretty bright. And together, it's strummy beautiful. And then if you're on that bridge pickup and you're looking for that more traditional thing, you can roll off the bass contour. And there it is, slap back. I was asked about on this buckshot uh, somebody after I posted this yesterday somebody wanted to hear some fuzz and uh, I'm big into that sort of ultra compressed high gain thing uh, it's what I play around with mostly uh, which is why I really like that JHS uh, pedal that angry Charlie that I use so much but I have that wonder red rider down there and that's what uh, that's what I was playing in the opening sequence on the bridge pickup so the bridge pickup is a traditional single coil so you get that, and uh, so. And that's bass contour, all the controls all the way up. And that's fuzz.
with this red rider, I like to uh, put the tube screamer in front of it. So here is the tube screamer by itself. Uh, the controls are all right around 12 o'clock. Maybe the, the tone control is up around between 1 and 2 o'clock. <laughs> and then put the fuzz on after it. Like that. Woohoo! Rock music. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, and let's just run through the pedals on the board because that was also came up in this little uh, sidebar conversation I had yesterday because I have a whole lot of overdrives down here. So that was the Tube Screamer and the uh, the Wonder Red Rider. This is a uh, MXR Super Badass. This is your uh, JHS Charlie pedal, uh, which is a lot like the Tube Screamer, so here's your clean. I love that, but you dig in a little bit with the pick and it just does the thing. And the Angry Charlie. Uh, the plumes. Man, that'll cut through a mix, mm -hmm. won't it? Plumes is a favorite of Jeff Wins, I believe. I dig it. Yeah. And this is this uh, crazy Rev G series pedal. Uh, it is set to the red mode, which does a really cool intersection, I think, of fuzz and high gain. Ready for this? The buckshot bridge pickup with a bunch of different gain. So the contrast then being the cross cut. So the cross cut came along a little bit later. What are we about three years into the cross cut series there, Jeffrey? No, not even. Not even? I don't think. Um, so Nailer, wow, you know what? I did not, I got so excited with the buckshot that I didn't tune this up. My bad. Um, the buckshot, or the, the crosscut really came about with uh, Joe's creation of the Railhammer clean cut pickups and looking for an application for them in line as lower output humbuckers uh, started becoming quite a thing. And with the clean cuts, I think we've taken the, um, the retro blast pickups and tightened up the low end. And so, um, there is the bridge pickup by itself. Just run into the car rambler here. I will go right back and forth on this. Can you dig it? Back to back. Here we go. My initial impression is that the uh, clean cuts are a tad brighter. They're definitely a little bit brighter on the bottom end. Uh, and in doing this, um, we've mounted this uh, Railhammer clean cut into the sort of the metal control plate, which is associated with the Tele guitars, obviously, making it uh, quite a bit brighter. Um, I, I personally think, and I'm open to, I'm, I'm open to discussion, 
Oh, are you? I am, but I think the cross cut sounds more like the traditional old Fender thing to me. And it's noiseless, which is cool. And the question always remains, and you can be the judge, does the noiseless humbucker two coil pickup do the fuzz thing as well as the single coil pickup does? And so here's, here's that Red Rider again. You ready, folks? <laughs> Fuzz today. I like fuzz. Fuzz pedal, I gotta give the edge to the traditional single coil. Jeff, thoughts? Uh yeah, I think I think the greasy tea takes the cake there. Yeah. Uh, but then there's there's the zero noise on the crosscut. Sure. You know, so you really got to weigh your options, and I think you could probably you could probably EQ this a little thicker. You know, at the amp. I dare you. Like it. Uh, let, while we're having bridge pickup gain pedal madness, uh, here's that tube screamer. With the fuzz on top, the tube screamer, like I like. And uh, then the MXR Super Badass. JHS Charlie. Clean. It really does do a compression thing. Pedal off. Pedal on. Angry Charlie. I love that. Plumes. band with Kevin Mernon and you're worried about cutting through the mix? No. There's your solution there. And then the rev. I don't know what happened. I was sitting here minding my own business. I, and the power of the rock overtook. I left the room, but only like, my, not physically, just like <laughs> spiritually. <laughs> See how they treat me here, folks? Indeed. So there you go, the uh, cross cut and the buckshot and a whole mess of gain pedals. That was fun. Yeah, we really ran the gamut there. We did. We had a good time. I actually did something here today. I didn't just sit here and, you know what I mean? Actually, I, I feel like I did something. You accomplished. You know what? I, maybe we should just shut down early today. Maybe we should. 
Yeah. If anybody has any questions. No, I'm just talking the. That's just too bad. Reverend. Oh, you Jones. mean the whole thing? Well, yeah. but we can't shut down early. I mean, I'd, I'd be all for going home. However, yeah. we have tacos coming because BGB. uh, BGB's birthday day, Brian Gross BGB Bias. day. So if you have a uh, Reverend Guitar signed by BGB, uh, which. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Can you see that? Anymore? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm supposed to do this. This would be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There yeah, you go. Catching light right there. There's yeah. the uh, BGB. See, it's BGB's birthday today. Uh, 25? Let's go with that. Sure. Yeah, let's yeah. go with that. If you want to see BGB tear up the bass, he's doing that this weekend, too. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeff has a gig this weekend. We always yeah. plug my gigs. Let's plug Jeff's gig. Plug Jeff's. What's, what's Jeff's the band, gigs. Jeff? High Draw. High Draw. Yeah. Like High Draw is playing at the Ottawa Tavern in Toledo, Ohio, because I was informed yesterday, the Ottawa Tavern is the only place that will let Jeff play, yeah. apparently. Well, I think this is by decree. My variety. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got a 15 minute punk set? So is that a exact it was a Biden executive order. Yeah, is what I, it know, was. I had to We're not going to let Jeff notarized. Yeah. Yeah, play anywhere except for the Ottawa Tavern. Mm -hmm. And so that's going to be a Saturday show. Yeah, how about that? Early show, late show? Doors at 7, music at 8. So early sh I like this early show thing. Ends by good. 11. It's fantastic. It's the way it should be. Wow. I've always for like years playing in the traders and playing in bands that have gone to the East Coast. Mm -hmm. You go to New York and all the shows are over at 11. Bands are out because yeah. they're turning it into a dance club or whatever, which is great. Always loved that about playing on the East Coast. I'm glad to see the Midwest sort of falling into I have gone on line. stage at 1 a.m. at the Ottawa Tavern. Oh, I've gone on stage Terrible. at 1 a.m. at every bar in the region. Expecting your friends to not be blacked out by then. Is <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or just people in general. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. 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 Kudos to the early show, folks. I'm into it. Indeed. I'm into it. I'm into it. I'm into it. Uh, any questions about this beautiful buckshot and or crosscut? I am open to questions. Right. Uh, Thomas Nielsen asks that, he, well, he says, I'm thinking of getting either a Jetstream 390 or a crosscut. Considering oh. I have a Charger HB, which option will be best for more tonal variety? Mm. That's so hard, dude. Get them both. <sighs> then return one. <laughs> Um, my gut reaction is going to be uh, Jetstream uh, because you're getting the different body style and you're getting a trim and you're getting three P90 pickups which are really uh, quite a bit different from your Charger HB. So there's a bunch of stuff going on there. You've got your five position switch which gives you a lot of different options on the Jetstream 390 and you can't go wrong with uh, with Nailer's 985 pickups, they're wicked. Or H90s, or what the hell are they called? Was I right the first time? What'd you say? What are those pickups called? 95s? <laughs> yeah, I know I can't, I legally, I can't call them soap bars, or else the powers that be will off with my head. Or there's something I can't call them and I can't remember what it is. Is it P90? I don't know what no was, idea. I have no idea. No idea. Anyway, uh, but then, you know, so there's advantage, there's advantage Jetstream. But, I mean, the advantage, of course, to the crosscut is you get that little bit brighter, brighter tone as compared to the darker tone uh, that you're getting out of the Alnico humbuckers and the Charger. And, um, and then if you are not a trim guy, here's well, a way no. to get some better clean tones with a, a hardtail vibe. So uh, basically what I'm saying is get them both. Yeah. yeah, that's. Amazing. I can't. Yeah, I know. That's you just Jeff. Said the same Jeff, thing I know. I, I just words. took longer to get there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm going to side with Jeff on this. Get them both. Yeah. Totally. Why not? <laughs> what else we got? Uh, Ryan Sloan. Hey. Hey. How you doing, Ryan? Wants to know what the output of the clean cuts are. The ohms. I am really, really bad at remembering. It's eight ohms. What I if I don't know what they're called, it's eight. Uh, I can't be expected to remember specifics. But Jeff knows eight. They're eight. Yeah, they're eight. Yeah, yeah. Remember, there's a whole lot of factors that play into how a pickup sounds beyond just raw output. Sometimes pickups with Give them less line, ohms will sound louder yeah. in certain situations. Um, really has a lot to do with the compression in the pre of your amplifier, mm -hmm. compression that's in your pedal. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, it is a rough guideline. So, and that's taking a smaller 
slaves. Oh, you, man, you just man. want me to say it, right? <laughs> you just want me to say give it. Give me the yeah. line, give me the business. The, uh, yeah, with the uh, rail hammer pickups, of course, the difference between the hum cutter and the humbucker is we've removed one of the poles and three of the pole pieces, leaving both coils intact, but then also taking a smaller slice of the magnetic field that's being created by the strings to give you that tighter tone. So to allow you to simulate so the sound of a really clean guitar. I mean, that is both of those pickups on, and that is really twangy, man, isn't that? What if I just put that little Charlie pedal on? Mark Knopfler's birthday last weekend. Brian's birthday today. Can I keep this one, Jeff? I don't care, man. God, it's not. I mean, I'm going to say advantage Penny to doing this show because I just like doing it with Penny, and people seem to like Penny better than they like you. And I mean, oh. so really, I mean, oh. advantage Penny. But the thing is, when I ask Penny if I can keep it, she's always like, I think you have enough guitars. And when I ask you if I can keep it, you're always like, yeah, keep it. Whatever. Yeah. We'll just. I don't give a shit. <laughs> right, see? Yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I got to go advantage Jeff from my own personal perspective. Yeah. <laughs> the, the more time I spend with these pickups, the more I like them. Listen to that neck. I'm just running straight into the amp. Vantage Car, too, by the way. Shout out to Steve Carr and Car Amplifiers of Pittsburgh, yeah, North Carolina. That man knows what he's doing. God, it just sounds terrific. Again, I, I feel like I'm cheating almost with such a great sounding amplifier. Let's talk about the reverb built into this amplifier, shall we? Sure. Talk about that just for a second. We enter a cave. Camera's still rolling. Sorry, I just. I'm crying over here. Away I went. Yeah. Away I went. Sorry about that. Man, <laughs> this guitar sounds great. <laughs> that sure, that sound Holy nice. shit. Wow. Uh, Dig. You want to answer some more stuff? Sure. All right. Yeah. It's 11.30. BJ Russell's, uh, he's looking for some hints on exclusive Z1 color for CME. I can't, some hints. I can't say. Mm. I Sorry, can't DJ, say. I tried. I tried. Cause like, that's fine, man. It's not that. Answer. It's not that I'm afraid to say what it is. Because if I was afraid to say, then I could be considered yellow in some circles, right? That that's like the color that's associated with fear, from what I understand. Mm. It's more like. Is it? I'm a new. It's a new color mm. for. But it's not a new color for CME. You're going to like it. Man, does it look good with that aluminum. Mm -hmm. Really. I know what it looks like. Yeah, I bet you do. For the right price. For the right price, you just I message might Jeff and he'll tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what kind of beans, Jeff? I like all beans. If Kidney I'm beans? Honest, I'm beans refried boy. beans? Black Love beans? Em. Love them. Green beans? Love them. Ooh. I don't think a pea is a bean, but I like peas too. <laughs> Really? Yeah, baked beans. You want to know what's weird? Everything. I don't really care for peas, but then I love those mushy peas when I go to the yeah, UK. Yeah, yeah. It's, that, it's those a, are. It's a geographical thing. Is that what it is? I think you're just like. What are we talking mouth. about now? 
Beans. Um, so, <laughs> Francesco Sebastianelli, I think I pronounced that. Yeah, I feel pretty I good know about Francesco, that. yeah. Uh, he says, hi, Ken. Any chance to see in the future a buckshot with a T-style bridge, string through body? Uh, that was the trick shot model. Sure. Uh, and that happened for a few years, and there's always a chance that that will return. That was a banger. They're out that there was the cool. Yeah, they're out there in the world. Those, that was a really, really cool guitar. When we started making the crosscut, the crosscut kind of hindered the trick shots marketing a little bit. I think something got a little strange there. And, um, and then, of course, we had that COVID thing. Huh? And we were limited in the number of guitars that we could make for a minute. And the trick shot went by the wayside. Uh, as did the traditional six gun, and I would like to see both of those guitars come back. So, what do you think of that? Wow. And if I would like to see both of those guitars come back, that means they're coming back someday. It means at least one of them's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. No, that's a great question. And sure. uh, yeah, yes, always the trick shot is always in my thoughts, as is the original six gun, always in my thoughts. I'm sure you got a trick shot or two lying around. I don't have anything lying around, Jeff. That's well. Not That's so my favorite question. Yeah. yeah, I love it when people say, hey, you, this thing that you made 10 years ago, you got no, one no, of those no, lying no, around? Like no. On the shelf back there that's, wow, we never sold this. I'm saying, oh, your own personal. I do not. Really? Yeah. A mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, I sold the six gun prototype to somebody who really wanted it. I kept the six gun for a long time. And I don't Which even, six gun? I don't even have one of those. What's that? There was a natural Karina six gun with the pickup mounted into the body of the bridge. Really nice looking guitar. It was one of the first two prototypes of that model. And uh, yeah, I don't own that anymore. Boy, we are just getting lost here talking about, we're just, Jeff and I are just going to hang out. Let's talk Should guitars. Just leave the camera. We'll yeah. just talk guitars a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I love guitars. Yeah. Huh. Cool. Well, I yeah. Mean, I don't have any more questions. Well, there. listen, y'all. I'm going to let you go. There's there's some uh, there's a couple things that are cool to worth looking into this weekend. Uh, Reverend endorser Anna Espinosa and her band Vondre are in Chicago this weekend, up from Mexico City, and uh, she brought her Air Sonic. And there's also a Triad, and I believe a Crosscut in that band on tour. And they're doing some shows in Chicago this weekend. And then they're heading down to Texas, do some shows in Austin, and then they'll be back doing the West Coast next month. Uh, she runs uh, Gear Anxiety, which is a Mexico City-based, uh, really fun um, Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and stuff. Check them out. Check out her band. They're super cool. I think Hello Mary is wrapping up their summer touring. Mm -hmm. They should be out somewhere. Look for a new uh, video from when they came through here a few weeks ago. Jeff and I uh, did some artist interview stuff with them, and we're going to be launching a video from them next week. Uh, I'm fired up next Wednesday, Jane Navarro and the Traders are opening for Fishbone at the Majestic in Detroit. And uh, I haven't seen Fishbone since the 90s. And so it's one of those, <laughs> this is one of those cool shows where it's like, I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, man, Fishbone's next week. Oh shit, I'm playing on that too. Mm -hmm. So that is just super cool all the way around. So, Keep it cool, uh, man. Yeah. Keep it cool. And, uh, and then, uh, yeah, others, there's always stuff happening. So stay tuned to our website. Stay tuned to our socials. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on the Buckshot and uh, Crosscut show this week. And we'll see you next Friday. Oh, there it is. That reverb now.